I'm Sam Ward on the Skill Builder channel and today we're going to be taking a look at this Makita twin 18 volt 230 millimeter cordless power cutter the DCE 090ZX. You can see I'm a bit of a Makita fanboy but with very good reason. I've always found Makita tools so reliable and I really had my reservations about how good a 9 inch cutoff saw could be that's operating off of two 18 volt batteries. Now I've been after this tool for some time now. It's been out a while and I'd just like to say we're not being paid to make this at all. So I just want to show off this, uh, this tool, how good it is. When you initially pick it up, it's really lightweight and you can feel the build quality is absolutely exceptional. I mean, I'd be quite happy to take this up and grind down like this because it's it, the, the weight of it's so good. So regular skill builder viewers would have seen my extension video where I used this to cut the radius in around the front doorstep. I used six batteries to cut that whole step in. Now that may seem like a lot, but as you can see, I've got loads of batteries. If you're on the Makita platform, I would highly recommend this to have it part of your kit. So if we have a look around this, immediately you can see this is where the trigger operation so you would, you press your thumb there, it's just a standard, and then that'll lock it in. Here we have our water feed, so you can connect your hose up to it, and then switch it on. Prevents all the dust and keeps the, uh, the diamonds in good condition. This is an on-off switch, and then you have a work light here and a battery indicator. And speaking of the batteries, this is the battery compartment here. So we have two 18 volt batteries. If I just grab two five amp hour ones. There's one and the other one. And that locks down and forms a completely watertight seal there. So this has a soft start. I'm gonna just start it. That is so silent. If you compared to a steel saw or the other one, they scream and whine. This is a really good feature. You know, it's, it's so quiet. And it also has a, um, an electronic brake, so that stops real quick. If this should ever bind up whilst you're doing a cut, the motor on it will just cut out and stop, much like the clutch in a steel saw. So that's a really good safety feature. If you're a sort of DIY enthusiast, I'd be more than happy for you to use a saw like this. The price point, it's probably a little bit on the expensive side for a DIY, but if you're into the Makita system, it's a really, really good safe tool to use. So when you get this out of the box, it comes with this blade. It doesn't come with a diamond blade. It comes with the, the one for cutting metal. And this is your little wrench it comes with. You see that little switch there. So if you, that locks out the blade and then your wrench fits on and you can untighten it. There's gonna be a lot of you thinking a battery cutoff saw is a toy. So I was with you on that thought because I thought there's no way 36 volts can outperform one of these tools. But let's go and put it to the test and we can show you just how wrong we both were. So the final test for last, this is a bit of concrete I dug up yesterday. Um, I know we've cut through a concrete post with steel in it, 
We've done one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight cuts. So eight cuts on the two batteries. Let's see what it does. have it let's just check the uh let's just check the battery life on it shall we yeah so we still got battery power there so that could go on for another probably six or seven cuts so in my mind if you've got six batteries six five amp hour batteries and a couple of chargers you'd be able to rotate them through the day all day long So that's Makita's DCE090 cordless power cutter. And I've got to say, I absolutely love this machine. So if you follow the links in the description below, you can find out where you can purchase it from.